found a small spot. We've located some fish on the inside of it, uh, throwing a couple crank baits around, just checking to make sure there's fish in there. And uh, we came down here a couple weeks ago, we found the fish. Uh, today what we're gonna try to do is see if we can use this, hook a rod to it, and see if we can actually catch some fish. And we have a few small wax worms that we're going to try out and we also have some night crawlers. Uh, we're going to have the rod hanging off a couple inches just to see if we can get a really good uh, angle on it and uh, see how good of a video we can make of uh, catching fish. I'm going to start off with the smallest hooks first and then see if we can catch larger fish going from there. We're going to start smaller because I want to see if I can at least catch something. All right, we have the little mummy worm on there. We have everything set up. Hopefully you can see that. Small number 12 hook with the mummy worm. We're using the uh, five fish V6. Gonna see how it uh, how it all work out. Um, I'm gonna have other footage that's coming from the, uh, the phone recording from the camera that's actually on the drone to get the fish. So let's put this in the water. <laughs> All right, we got one hooked up now. Got them on there, backing them up. Um, small one, it's like a small river chub. What'd you say it is? Creek chub. We've got a small creek chub here. Uh, let me see if I can actually bring them in. Can you move that camera so as I drive them in? a mummy worm uh small one there we're actually gonna pop a new one on there drive down and kind of pinpoint it where they're at gonna have to make a couple adjustments the rod kept moving back and forth when i first hooked up with him they actually flipped the drone upside down i was bringing them in upside down all right let's see if we uh get any more we're gonna uh try that one more time with the same hook and then we're gonna start going up now that we found the fish
We're hooked up to fish number two now. Uh, you'll, you'll see this later. You can't really see it on here too much. Um, so this one's a little bit bigger. Now what I'm going to try to do is last time I had trouble backing it in. The fish was pulling it around even though it was small. I'm going to um, I'm going to turn this actual motor off. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it in by hand. There. You see it? Oh, fish number two. So now we're gonna go up a little bit larger. Uh, I'm gonna put a bigger hook on there and see if I can catch. I've seen three or four that were three, four times this size, actually. Um, there was a couple of them that probably could have ate this thing, but I couldn't uh, couldn't get them to hook up. So I'll see if I can get something, uh, something even better. Stay tuned. Nothing really big. These are small creek chubs. Uh, there's actually some bass in here I'm trying to catch, and there's actually a uh, a couple of northern snakeheads that I saw in here when it was a little bit warmer. I'm hoping to hook up on them or while I was down there I actually did see a pretty decent sized channel cat. If I can hook him, uh, good luck. I'll try to bring him in. If I break this drone, we'll just get another one. All right, we have uh, fish number three we're bringing in now. Uh, we switched to a little bit bigger hook and we went to a night crawler, but the fish, this one still seems a, would you say this one's a little smaller? A little smaller. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this one looks a little <laughs> smaller. Look. That's so funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Can you put your GoPro on them? Good. All right, we got fish number three. Uh, this one was on night call crawlers, a little bit smaller than the last one, but fish is a fish. Hey, the drone caught three fish, brought them back to me. Can't really ask for much more than that. So uh, let's let it go and uh, see if we can catch another one, go up a size hook and uh, change baits. Might try a little corn, see how that works out. Thanks. So as of now, we have three fish on the board, two on the mummy wax worms, and one on the night crawlers. I'm gonna try to uh, put a little bit bigger hook on there and see if I can catch a bigger fish. 
Uh, I've had quite a few bigger fish, hopefully the footage will show it, had quite a few fish that were probably double the size hit the actual hook, but I couldn't set the hook. Um, the last one I got, as the fish was coming in one direction, as soon as he hit it, I made the uh, drone go the opposite way and set the hook that way. Um, that's some of the problem we're having. They're pulling on it, but they're not really getting a good set hook. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. Oh, see them bubbles? I sure did. I... Oh, maybe we can get a snakehead. All right, bye. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Number four. All right, this is number four right here, River Chub. It's funny because we've actually went up the size with the hooks, made the hooks a little bit bigger and bigger night crawlers, and we're actually getting smaller fish. I might go back to the smaller hook, honestly. All right, go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put him back, give him a release. I'm trying to do this without falling in. That would always be good. Okay, that's four, let's, get, let's keep going. Overall, uh, hopefully the footage turned out pretty good. We got four of the uh, creek chubs, wasn't able to catch any of the catfish or any of the fall fish, but uh, still a pretty good day. I haven't seen anybody else catch anything on one of these. Five fish V6, uh, that's the first one I saw to uh, actually catch a fish. I've seen a couple people catch them on the speed boats, and I also saw somebody actually catch it from the air. If you like to watch some of the underwater footage, uh, you can also check out, there's a video on Channel Chad with an underwater drone. Uh, we went to another location, and we had nothing but filming the fish underwater eating. So, um, works out pretty good. Thank you for watching Amped Up Outdoors.